Hello, 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 Purple Shirt Guy here, and we're going to take a look at Judy by Phantom Archive. And uh, just so you know, these are the, the little instructions that they've got. It's a horror show. And um, it's supposedly got extreme jump scares, and it has flashing lights. It's only got the one badge so far. Maybe they're saving up so they can get themselves enough Robux, or Robux, add some more badges. Let's see what we can do. I really like the effort that they put into the starting area. I mean, I honestly, I don't think it took that much effort because it's a lot of repeated parts, but it looks nice. I mean, if you, if you look at it, basically you've got, uh, there's, there's this part here that goes all the way to the bottom. We've got one, two, three, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, at least ten, maybe twelve. Um, and then we've got this part in between one, two, three, whoa. Sorry, I'm going the wrong way. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And, um, and yeah, so mostly it's just a couple of different pieces that are repeated over and over again along with the lamps. But still, it has a nice visual effect, and that uh, scary Judy face really helps. I wonder how well Nuggy got up there, but you know, I'm sure there's an easy explanation for that. Like, he climbed up the light pole. Nope, we can't do that. Uh, how about if he um, scaled the wall? Uh, no, he didn't scale the wall. about the store to the stores to see if there's anything you want to buy I'm not really much of a person for buying stuff from um, virtual stuff from stores I just don't see the point of spending real money on something that I can't even keep excited for making a video of it it's the only thing way I'd be able to actually keep it Still, I just wouldn't have a video of them. Yeah. Well, anyways. Okay, so, huh. Judy. It's kind of a freaky kind of uh, amusement park attraction car. So you'll discover that Judy was a popular attraction at an amusement park, and then suddenly things started going wrong. So it says, uh, I don't know why it says this. It looks like kids, a kid and parent aren't allowed to have fun. Uh, I don't know. Um, a little bit weird. Now, you get on here and you think, oh, well, 
come on, let's go. Giddy up, giddy up, but nothing happens. And you can't uh, go into the water on either end. I already tried that. And that door doesn't work. So, actually, what you have to do is come over here and click on this. And once you've got that done, you can get on the ride. I'm going to just get on the front. Oh, wait. It won't let me do that. I have to sit down. Okay. Now I'm sitting down. Oh, by the way, you can press um, the left mouse button to turn on your flashlight. So you can't really see much unless you turn that on. Also, you will eventually get um, items. But right now you don't have anything. You don't get a lot. At least not the part that I've seen in this game. And there is Judy. Who at one point was supposedly a Hollywood star. And all the paparazzi. The photographers. Uh oh. Something just fell in the water. We're always taking photographs. No, those are not machine guns. I figured I, they are cameras. Cameras of her coming out from onto, onto the stage. And that stays in view for quite a long time. And as you can see, tree roots have grown into the uh, ride. This water ride is uh, obviously kind of old. Although well, it's in pretty good condition, all things considered. And there she is again, waving from a podium after having won some kind of prize that I couldn't read. Now, what happens next? I wonder. Okay, so it basically kind of fills up. pattern is. Whoa, let me up. Okay. Judy, a Hollywood monster. Star turns plastic. So apparently she had a ton of surgeries to uh, preserve her appearance, I guess. I'm not really sure. Um, and the new and improved Judy, a replacement. Say hello to Linda. So clearly we've got um, a jealousy issue here. Judy has been replaced by Linda and is angry. Has Judy lost her beauty? Hollywood star Judy going old and losing her charm. And we're gonna we're gonna avoid going straight because that's a critical area that we have to explore last. Um, Judy attacks cameraman. Three injured, two dead. From a clothing iron with saw blade. Ooh, that's not good. And we can't... We can actually get under here. Not sure what to do. Sweet relief. Oh, yes, I want to get in there. I gotta go pee. Let me in. But you can't. Nope, can't even get on top to poop up there. Okay. But, you know, this is... Um, a room that, in theory, depending on the height of the monster chasing you, you could get under there and hide. Uh, you can also sometimes get into the lockers and hide in the lockers, but uh, this one doesn't seem to be cooperative, and this one doesn't either. Okay, so let's carry on this direction. Um, so here's a locker that's busted up. You could, theoretically, oops. Ah, so now I'm inside. Just crouch, and you're safe. Can't go through that mess. All right, came from there, so we're gonna go off in this direction next. But before we do that, let's go through here.
just so you can see this. Leads to over here. Now we don't want to open that door because there is a robot on the other side of the door that will rip you to shreds. Isn't that nice? Man, this flashlight really isn't that good. You can go this way, but you can't do anything because that door's closed. So in actuality, I showed you the area that I said I wasn't going to show you yet. And skip the area that I said I was going to do next. This is the way out. Um, not that, not, well, not this way over here. Oh well, yeah, I'm sorry. Um, so basically that's the way out over there. And this, you have to, you have to get, now that's fallen down, you're going to have to find, look at that, isn't that a pretty nice effect of spilled oil? Pretty bad, uh, pretty cool. You're going to have to find the lighter, and once you have the lighter, you can come back here, let, set the oil on fire, that'll set the sprinklers off, and the sprinklers will allow you to get past through the exit door. So, uh, another missing person found at the Judy Estate, Judy World. Uh... Oh, my victims found somebody found in oil drums? Oh no. Countless people have reported seeing kids as young as they wander into the theme park construction unattended. No one knows why yet, but police say it may have something to do with some of the music that has been recorded playing in the park during closed hours. If anyone has any information, please contact the LAPD as soon as possible. Oh man. That's pretty sad. And uh, then we have this one. Oh, it's repeated again. So, uh, again, this is the exit area over here. Now, if you can get in through the other side, you can get um, in there. Again, this is the exit. You need the sprinklers on so that it'll short circuit the electronics and allow you to open that up without having a fingerprint because you're unlikely <laughs> sorry I had to sneeze you're unlikely to find a fingerprint just you know flying around in this abandoned place so now we get to do the uh, I don't know if there's any way of avoiding dealing with the stupid monster I think maybe not. So you can actually go in here and hide and hope that the monster doesn't see you. Uh, oops, oops, now I'm stuck. Okay, there we go. Or in this one. But I don't know if that's actually gonna work. The jump up. And we'll just hide because that monster is not a pleasant monster to deal with. So don't talk, don't don't say any noise, anything, just be quiet. The monster isn't gonna see us because we're hiding. So basically it's like a distorted Judy head. And it's looking for me, but it can't seem to find me. I'm really hoping it's just gonna walk off. I didn't try this last time, I tried standing up on top of that thing where the switch was, and um, I was stuck. So I wanted to see if this would work better. But apparently, um, the robot doesn't know that it should be moving along. And I don't know what to do here, aside from let it kill me if it doesn't move free quickly. I'm not sure if it can go down in that, uh, that vent or not. Pretty kind of irritating. I know if it sees me, it will kill me for sure. Boy, this is frustrating. I had hoped it would just, you know, go away. So I think we're going to just try running. No, failed. I've never been fast for that kind of thing. Yeah, it got me. We'll just hide over here until it goes away. I have no idea where it is right now.
So we'll just run, run, run as fast as you can. And sadly, you can't close that door. And you can't open this door because it... Well, maybe you can. Yeah, you can. Okay, so you can open this door. And this was that door that I showed you before that was closed. But that's not where you need to go. This is just decoration. You can't pick up anything except for the lighter. So now you have a lighter to help you to light the uh, oil that I showed you before. So you jump up here and use your control. And I don't know where it is right now. I guess we'll take a chance. Oh darn it, this isn't the way I wanted to go. I don't think the monster can get back here. So I think once I get over here, I'm safe. So now I just come over here and not get burned. And Run, run, run. As fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. Okay, so we're out, but we're not safe. That's just the first section of the, of the chapter. And... Actually, the first time I played this, I um, went up there right away. <laughs> but I actually want to look around and see if there's anything else that I can do. You know, because I might have missed something important. Ooh. Doctors prove, prove palm olive oil soap can bring you a lovelier complexion in 14 days. Well, palm olive is still a brand, so I wonder why that's whether that's actually historically factual, as far as like you know, the claim being marketed. Private property, no trespassing. Well, I can't, I can't crawl to get in there. And actually, if that's where I think it is, I don't want to be in there really. It's hard to get out of. But I do want to get in here. <coughs> Come on. Let me up. There we go. Okay. Okay. And I can't turn on my flashlight right now. is a point of frustration, but oh well. And I know there's a jump scare in that way, so I'm going to go this way first. Because I actually didn't go this way before. Yeah, there's a monster there. So probably not necessarily a wise idea for me to be going that way. Hmm, what am I going to do? Darn it. Alright, well, since I'm not sure about that direction, I will go back this way. I'm crawling. I would show it. <clears throat> I'm actually on my on my belly through here. Oh, jump scare! Did it get ya? Did it get ya? Did it surprise ya? <laughs> Wait a second. Where's the thingy? What the heck, it's gone. There it was.
was a way out this way. Apparently I don't get to choose that way anymore. Or maybe I'm just hallucinating. Maybe I just misremembered it. I'm kind of concerned about going this way because this monster is sitting right here. Oh, that's right. It's stuck in the roots. It can't get me. And I can't get it. I can't even light it on fire. So I'm safe from that. And I can't go this way because it's blocked off. And I think actually that's where I was. Yeah. Because you can see the, the machine that I stood on. So I need to go over here. Escape. Now, I learned a trick for this, and the trick is this. You just step back as soon as she appears, and you wait until the surgeon goes all the way down. Just stand back here. You can't go anywhere, because it's got you blocked by an invisible barrier. You just wait, and then now that the surgeon is gone, I don't know why you're so tightening all of a sudden. I want you to come over here and wait until the rocks have stopped falling so that you're not in danger. And there it is one last time. And it's gone again. So now basically you just have to keep on going down and down and down. Oh, getting past all the little obstacles that the game put in your place. And it's easy at first, and then it just gets a little bit harder, not too bad. Oh boy, this is the hard one. That's our call. There we go. bottom. I swear. <laughs> it really isn't that hard as long as you do it the way I just showed you. It's pretty easy to get past all this stuff. I mean, if you had gone down there with the surgeon and, and the rocks falling, that would have been a different story. So that was the second part. The third part, we're outside. And uh, this is where I, I got a little bit stuck. But now I know the trick. So there is another Judy monster roaming around here. You can start back here if you get killed by her. I find that skirting the edge of the map is the best thing to do to, uh, to avoid having to deal with it. Um, also, you can go into places like this and hope for the best. Um, sometimes if you hide in the um, grass by squatting, um, you can avoid her for a while, but eventually she will find you. So what you want to do is get all... You see those glimmering lights way in the distance there? We have to get over to that area there. I'm going to turn off my flashlight to reduce the chances that she'll find me. And there she is. Music does not play forever. Ah! She got me. Dang it. That's kind of frustrating. But that's the way the game works. Um, I'm gonna try the left side this time. It seemed to be a little bit easier to go the, uh, along the left hand side. The tower there is not accessible. A fair amount of, the, of it is not accessible. You can hide on this bridge over here, across the water, if you can get to it before she comes nearby. Because um, she can't get on it, and if she, unless you're like jumping around and stuff, she won't notice you up there. So you can be fairly safe to, um, doing that, but if she notices you, she's going to just stay there and track you until 
You just get frustrated and watch yourself die. Uh oh, I think she saw me. Oh good. Okay, now we can carry on. And I hate it when the music stops because that's when it becomes difficult to find out whether where she is. Okay, we gotta get over to there to the the swing ride, which is not too terribly difficult. Once we get past that, we're relatively safe. Okay, just go this way. Hiding in bushes often helps to hide you from her, or from it. Ah, oh, she got me again! Man! The first time I, I did this, and the second time, and the third time, I had absolutely no problems getting all the way across. But for some reason this time, it is being really, really challenging. again. Where the heck is she? She's annoying. I certainly face worse. She is. Oh, there she is. Hopefully she won't notice me. So I can show you more. She's going the direction I have to go, so I'm gonna have to wait for a while. There is a shop over there that I can hide in. And that is where and, and there's a gate nearby. And all three of the power switches that I have to activate are there. One's at the gate, one's at the shop, and the third one is in a hole in the ground. She didn't see me, okay, I guess. Yep, she's going on that way. Okay, I'm gonna give it a few more seconds. And I'm gonna run. Don't worry about the swings, they can't hurt you. What the heck? I don't even know what just happened. That's never happened to me before. That's so bizarre. I don't know if she snuck up on me somehow. I don't think so. I would, would have heard squeaking at least from the wheels. Something. Are there any? There was a trap that I didn't know about. I don't know. That's weird. It's a new experience for me. Oh, there she is. So it wasn't her. Oh boy. I can hear her to the left, right of me. the heck out of me. Oh man. Now she's turned off her music. Or actually she's gotten to the end of the song. Which is pretty much the same thing. It means it's much harder to figure out what the heck she is. So I know whether I'm safe from her or not. I don't know if she is entirely visual or if she's also auditory, unfortunately. Sorry, that's my cat. Oh, I saw her. There she is. There she is. Don't see me. Don't see me. Don't see me. Don't see me. Yeah, go that way. There is an abandoned uh, uh, track ride car 
over there that looks like kind of like a mouse. And um, you can hide there, and she won't see you. And if you stand on top of it, she can't touch you, but you're trapped because she won't leave until you die. Why am I... Why am I going so slowly? I feel like I'm moving in slow motion. Before she does, I'll be safe. Okay, I'll go down here. This is one of the places I have to be anyways. Okay. Alright, so. Now, it's just a, basically a tunnel. And, you have to get down there. You don't want to go where she is down there. I don't even know where that one went. Do not go down there where the mesh is. I tried going down there to find the saw that it meant that it'll be mentioned here momentarily. What the heck was that? Oh come on! You're kidding me. Okay, apparently I can't activate this one until I activate the one at the gate. Which is pretty annoying, I didn't know that. I have no idea whether Judy can come down here or not. But I'm so close. She can't get me now. Okay, so they tease you a little bit with the candy bar, but you can't take it. So this is the other one that you have to activate after you get to the gate. And the third one, like I said, is at the gate. So now all I gotta do is make sure I go out and then over to here. back over to here and you don't have to go around that way you can go around this way and that's two I just got oh crap don't stand near the window because she can reach through the window and get you even though it's a solid window and it doesn't show that it shatters but she can get you Still out there somewhere. Now I'll go down here. Where the last one is that I, I couldn't do before. Alright. There's nothing. Yeah, there are only two choices. Go down the this way, which I think is probably dangerous, because it's a longer fall if you make a mistake. Or go down this way. Which is what I prefer to do to stay safe. The door is now open. So now the hard part is to find the saw, which should mention eventually. find the saw to open the back door. Uh, okay, so like I said, I've already been down there, there's nothing down there, and I couldn't get back out. Um, I don't think there's anything else down here, I haven't, I don't remember seeing anything else. Hmm. She's upstairs. I gotta crawl out, or climb out, which is pretty easy. upstairs right now. You can hear the squeaking from her wheel. The problem is, is I have no clue where the saw is. Okay, so I've 
I've gotten past that. I've never been out here, so I don't know what to expect here. I assume I have to go to the house. Or maybe to this building? I really don't know. I saw I needed to enter. Okay, you can hide in these places. Not the safest place to be when Judy comes around, but you can hide there. Keep lights off. Spider creature is light sensitive. It's a damaged one. Or not. Okay, I'm way back here again. Ah, oh, gosh. That's so frustrating. That tent is useless. It's just a little tent. Merry-go-round is useless. Going to places like that just invites the chance that she's going to catch you. Or increases the chance. I wonder if that one that just killed me is the same one that was out here, since I don't hear her anymore. That'd be my guess. See, there it is again. God. Alright, well, I'm going to go on the assumption that she's dead. Or not dead, that she's up at that next place. That is also a useless car with the ice cream cone on it. I'm just going to take the short route this time around. Uh oh, uh oh. No, that's not her. What was that? Anyways, that I fell into. That was really annoying. Twice I've fallen into it, and I never fell into it before. There she is. Evil one. Oh, but fudge.
you get a taste for what it's like. Um, yeah, I turn off all lights. I, I, I thought I, I didn't see a light switch, so yeah. Um, thanks for the tip, though. So um, thank you very much for watching, and I uh, hope you have a great day, and please be a kind gamer. Okay, I lied. <laughs> Here's the light switch right here. So I'll turn off the light. I don't know if there are any lights anywhere else. So I will be trying to make sure that I have found all the light switches. That's annoying. has been made. Congratulations to me. Okay, find an exit. Well, I guess I came through this way. What's down there? Anything dangerous? Probably. But hey, what's the point of playing video games if there's nothing dangerous? Okay, what's this? I'd rather not touch this. I'd rather disable this completely so that the monsters stop attacking me. But, you know, you can't always get what you want, right? Anyways, let's move right along here. I hear something. 2D archives, personal only. Aquarium construction completed by complete by 1972. Doesn't look like they ever finished it. Okay, so we only have one place to go. The heck is that? Looks dangerous, whatever it is. Or maybe it's a skeleton. I don't know. Judy Estate, under investigation. Five arrested, no charges yet. Suspected of faking Judy's death to provoke, to profit off of her while she was kept at the park. Oh, great. So not only is she jealous that she was replaced, but she also was mistreated. Well, I don't know what that is, but it certainly doesn't look encouraging to me. I didn't hear before. Ah, uh, there's a robot up there. So now, since I have somehow managed to anger the mighty robot that's up there, I don't want to go anywhere near that. I'll just go down here, I guess. Hi, Judy. You've had a bad day, haven't you? Are you gonna kill me? No. It's dead, Judy. Okay. Judy World Missing People reports. Judy World Theme Park Electrical. Full shutdowns permitted during an emergency. Well, I would say this is an emergency. Machines won't start the boost covered in blood. Uh -huh. Surprise! Aha! can't get this, oh, you gotta be, you just tease me with that, don't you? I get it. I can't go, I think there's a monster in there. Yep, there's a monster in there, no. Uh-oh, glitching out. Okay, that's fixed. Construction paused until a missing child is found in to be built to the world. A Sunday middle school student have been reported missing for 80 hours of them disappearing. The student has uh, 
was seen by two Judea State construction workers and had reported it, seeing the child wandering around the basement tunnels. And an hour later, the employees reported hearing banging and chattel, chains rattling through the aquarium floors. Both of these situations are being looked into by LA police. Well, that doesn't sound good. Wow, whatever that is, it looks unpleasant. Well, I clearly don't want to go that way. So I guess there's not a over here. I wonder what this says. Judy's end. The Judy estate has finally canceled the horrific project. The CEO has stated the park has been abandoned due to the extreme conditions that Judy estate employees have worked through the countless deaths and injuries caused by an unknown presence and some more terrible accidents. Oh. are mainly on robotics, or mostly the books are on the park's dark history. Okay. Stop doing that, Judy. I really don't appreciate that when you jump scare me like that. I mean, it wasn't really scary scary, but you know, it's just, I know, startling. Okay. Now what do I do? Can I crawl under? Yes, I can. Okay. A horrifying picture of the to be completed Judy World theme park. Mother says child cried at the side of the cart ride. A new total of 25 work-related accidents and six confirmed deaths. Although confirmed, the reason is unknown. Head was later stolen. No leads. The new information has brought fear to the LA area. Many have reported hearing voices coming from the vacant park. Okay, that's lovely. stuff. Gosh, I hate it when I do that. Alright, well. like something I want to kill. But I doubt that I can kill. Man, what am I supposed to use this for? Not that. confused as to what I'm supposed to do with this hammer. Am I supposed to fight that giant robot up there? I mean, I doubt that. Doesn't really make any sense.
like I should be able to climb up. It's not being very cooperative about that. Ah, there we go. destroy the robots computer okay maybe Interesting. Is that what? 
to hide. side. She got me again. Man, I was doing something doing well. I mean, I got the legs. I said something about getting her head. I just don't know how to get her head. Ooh, I got another something. Okay, so I need have more to hit. Alright. Ah. Uh, seriously? Stuff. 
Got another one. Whatever these things are that I'm breaking off. Or the structure. Maybe if I'm lucky, I'll kill the GB head. Ah! Do I get a billion? I guess. No, this is different. Ah. I'm gonna broke some more stuff. I guess this is what you do. You just keep on breaking crap off. Be bold. Uh, didn't get anything that time. Less bold, maybe? I did, and my problem is, is I don't know where the aquarium is, or the aquarium exit is. Maybe this is it? Dude, I did it, finally. All right, well, thank you very much for watching and being patient for so long as I finally managed to defeat the Judy Peed in Chapter 1. Thank you, and uh, please be a kind gamer.